everybody has their own uh, schools in their little neighborhoods that they want to do well. And I think Sam Houston's got a strong community, um, if you would, backing that sees things the way they used to be. And uh, expectations are still high because they see Sam Houston and White Shoes running down the sideline. And, and that's, I think, how people still see it, is that you got a lot of speed and you're supposed to do these things with it. Football's important, I think, because they see it as a way out. But to me, it's more of a, uh, uh, it can be a way of life, you know. And, and what I tell them and, and other people is that if uh, there's a girl that you want to date and you ask her out and she says no, you don't give up on dating. You go pick yourself up and you go. Same way with athletics. You're going to get knocked down, you pick yourself up and get back into the fight. And I think that's what football teaches. And, and everybody here goes through athletics to receive a scholarship is the, is the ultimate. Even though only 1%, 2% are going to get that, it's more important to get that, that drive, determination to, to excel. You know, we try to teach them to carry what they learn on the field into the classroom. You know, the, that hard work and, and dedication will work for them no matter where they go. We're small. We're the smallest. It, when I got here 11, 11 years ago, we were the smallest school in the district. We're still the smallest school. I mean, we're around 870, and I think the next one above us is right around 15, 1600. So we're playing at half the kids. So that gives you less to draw from, if you know what I mean. Some of these kids, they have parents that's incarcerated. So that's the reason why they're not with their parents. Or some of these kids, they have parents that are, are deceased. And, and, and that's another reason. Many have uh, jobs. And you say many are trying to help support families. You, some of them have kids of their own. That's the, all the, the negativity in the streets. That's why I play football right now, because you, you can't have the negativity. You got to move forward to be, uh, to be a good person. That's why I'm in sports. Some of these kids have parents that are uh, on drugs. I mean, and some, some, some of these kids' parents are like mine. You know, they, they're trying to work and provide a better life for their kids, and they're not able to tuck their kids in. You know, they're with the grandparents, or they're not able to take the kids out to Disneyland or, or, or you know, different trips and things like that. So, so you miss things, but they get those here. You know, we try to maximize and show them as much love and show them as much safety and warmth as we can here. But, but those are, are problems. It's just social problems, economic, economic problems, things like that that the kids challenge, that the kids face and they are challenged with every day. If you look for trouble, my dad said, you can find it. It's just a matter of uh, priorities and what you have to do if you want to play. You know, it ain't easy in this world. And you got to, you got to, if you set your mind to it, you have to work to make yourself available to do these things. If you want to work and you want to play football, it's a give and take. It's hard work, but nobody said it was going to be easy. But to me, I think that's what makes it better. If you have to... Uh, uh, give up some things I think you appreciate it that much more. Don't let anyone talk you into doing something you really don't want to do. If you don't have the heart or the desire to be out here for football, don't do it. And, and you do that about life. Whatever it is you want to pursue, you do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. And I, I think that's what's good about America, United States, because that's the melting pot. And that's why everybody's trying to get here. To my son, and I treat them like my son. Uh, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Just know that you don't quit. So you do it and don't let nobody tell you you can't. And then you follow your heart. You know, everybody wants to be a professional, myself. But the reality comes that, that really 1% is making it. Now what you going to do? And, and that goes to the more you learn, the more you earn. And that's what this world is about is earning. So you stay in school with that phrase, the more you learn, the more you earn. Your earning potential can be more with the more education that you get. And that's a fact. Mm -hmm.